Bari here, day 12 of Rescue a Crown Supercoach. So, um, boy, this one's been a bugger. Uh, we've uh, had some problems with the clutch, so I opted to go ahead and replace it. Um, that was going to be $2,600. Yeah, it's a little steep, but, you know, no big deal. We'll get it done, get it right. The clutch came out, uh, you know, it really wasn't in bad shape, but, man, that throwout bearing was shot. And there's also some damage to the splines on the input shaft of the transmission. It's probably serviceable, um, but we ran into another surprise. So when we ordered the replacement clutch, uh, the shop brought in a two inch 10 spline clutch, which is what's common. And this transmission had a 1.75 inch 10 spline clutch. And so rather than go with a clutch that only has one replacement option, um, we're going to go ahead and switch the input shaft on the transmission to a two inch, which is far more common. And that opens up a bunch of different price points and um, a lot more availability. So let me show you where we're at today. So we got the flywheel back from the machine shop. It had to go to Chattanooga about an hour away to get done because the local machine shop couldn't get to it. Um, it looks great. And then you can see on this input shaft down here, you can see these deformations um, in the splines. And I'm not really sure what did that. Um, it's kind of an unusual deformation pattern. When we see deformation in gears and splines are simply a square gear tooth, um, it's unidirectional. So these look like they've been squished. Um, I don't know what's going on, but what I do know is once you see deformation in the teeth on a gear, failure is not very far away. So we're going to go ahead and deal with that. It's an extra couple hundred dollars, but you know, to me it's peace of mind. So. I have a whole day to kill, and quite frankly, I'm sick of having days to kill because I'd like to be at home enjoying um, beautiful weather in Houston, Texas for the two weeks a year that we have beautiful weather. So I was going to buy a shop vac and a Dremel tool, or a knockoff Dremel tool at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight's gotten really expensive. I don't know what's gotten into them. So I price checked them on Walmart, and sure enough, Harbor Freight has a, a little two and a half gallon vacuum for $29.99 and Walmart has a hyper tough one gallon for $21.99 and the Dremel tool same exact kit different color Harbor Freight is $22.99 and Walmart was $18.99 so I bought it at Walmart I was gonna buy a broom but you know frankly by the time I bought a decent broom and a dustpan it was gonna be 15 bucks anyway so a $21 vacuum, to me it's disposable. But anyway, this thing's a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it vacuumed up. There's all these dead wasps and spiders in here. I'm gonna get all that crap vacuumed up and um, just keep myself busy today. Uh, there's a really hefty instruction book. The hose actually feels halfway decent. <coughs> Came with a couple of little attachments, a little hook, some mounting crap. Put that back in there. Let's see how we get into it. Oh, isn't that cute? It comes with a little mini bag. Yeah, you know, I think this will be just right for a bus. Yeah, size matters when you have an RV because you don't have a lot of space. Let's see how loud it is. It's actually not bad. It has a little lock on it. You know, it's really actually not bad. It sucks. And it's alright.
I think it's a winner. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the little attachment on it and get to town. So I uh, finished vacuuming up all the dust and crap that was on the floor. It's pretty clean. Um, completely filled up a little canister. I've emptied it. You know, it's it's pretty darn clean in here. So I, I'm real happy with that. At this point, I'm gonna stop for lunch, and um, after lunch, probably gonna mess with around with the Dremel tool and see what taking these little gullmite screws um, out starts to look like. Man, I hate those things. You know, I wouldn't hate them so much if I could find a driver for them, but the people who have drivers think that they're gold. Fucking opportunists. Anyway, kind of half looking at reproducing the drivers because it just doesn't look like it'd be that big of a deal. Oh, I missed a little bit, so. Oh, and a spider. Yeah, let me show you guys how that's about. spider like that and you go full high and that's the end of the spider and all the dead insects so it works pretty So there's another little jumping spider. That looks like he just jumped into hyperspace. Hey folks, Brian here. So I am uh, reviewing a hyper tough Dremel knockoff. They call it a rotary tool. It looks identical to what Harbor Freight sells, but it has a two year warranty and it was about four or five dollars cheaper. Uh, I bought it at Walmart um, and uh, it came with a pretty good set of stuff. The tool itself looks pretty straightforward. Let me get it set up and see what it does. So I got it put together. It came with all the tools I needed. And I'm pretty impressed. So I'm going to use it on gallmite screws, which are these obnoxious screws that every crown has. So let's see how that worked. Not deep enough. Almost deep enough. All right, let's dig deeper. One down, 400 to go. Not really looking forward to that. It's not taxing, it's just tedious. So anyway, that's how I'm gonna get these gall mites out so I can pull all this trim off. Not gonna happen today. I'll mess with that tomorrow. I'm 